Hey, what's up guys? So, this is a very interesting question. And this has been sitting in my inbox for a while and I haven't really answered it. So I'm gonna answer it for you now. This is a question from our buddy called Tyler. And he says, hey, Stefan, I'm in my 20s. And like most 20 year olds in the US, I like to partake in the occasional alcoholic drink. Before bed, I also smoke marijuana, cannabis. My dreams are very vivid, but very short. I feel like I don't have time to realize I'm dreaming in them. I've been doing my reality checks regularly for two weeks now. Uh, plus keeping a dream journal. I think I'm at a place where I should be realizing that I'm dreaming, but I'm not. Is it possible that the alcohol and regular marijuana smoking are affecting my dreams? Now, this is a slightly complex question, but hopefully I'll simplify the answer for you. It starts with REM sleep. Okay, now REM sleep, if you don't already know, is rapid eye movement, and it's the stages of sleep that happen about four times a night, four or five times, uh, once every sleep cycle, um, a sleep cycle, being about 90 minutes long. So four or five REM, REM stages every night. Okay, and the REM stages are the stages where you usually have most of your dreams. Uh, specifically, the, the one or two stages before you wake up in the early morning. This is where lucid dreams and OBEs are much more likely. Okay, so to answer your question, alcohol and marijuana are what's known as REM suppressants. Okay, so they will suppress and reduce the uh, REM periods of your sleep, meaning that you will either have no dreams or much less dreams and you're much less likely to become lucid in them. Okay, but this is not all bad news because if you want to continue taking alcohol and marijuana, I'm not going to judge, you know, that's not my place to say, but it helps to be better informed uh, as to how they work and how they affect your sleep so that you can sort of structure your, your plan if you would like to pursue lucid dreaming. Uh, to include alcohol and marijuana. So, I'm going to start with cannabis, marijuana, okay? Now, marijuana is a REM suppressant. However, and this goes for alcohol as well, when you stop taking the substance, you get what's known as REM rebound. And this is where your body makes up for the lost REM sleep in your, in your night uh, when you've stopped taking the substance. And every substance will affect every person differently. Uh, as to sort of how long you need to wait. But generally speaking, with a cannabis marijuana, uh, waiting one or two days, so go one or two days without taking any, uh, and you will get a crazy sort of REM rebound where you'll have very vivid, potentially lucid dreams that are going to be much longer and more vivid than before. And you'll likely remember them as well. So it may be an idea to limit your smoking to maybe three or four days a week and then have a gap and then sort of have crazy lucid dreams at the weekend and then continue like this instead of smoking it all the time because if you smoke it all the time you're likely never going to have uh, a decent lucid dreaming life because it's just going to constantly suppress your REM sleep. Uh, so moving on to alcohol it's more or less the same however with alcohol the half-life is slightly different and it sort of uh, eliminates itself from your body a bit faster which means that you can get to that REM rebound stage a lot faster as well. So say, for example, if you go out for a night of heavy drinking, when you get back in to bed, let's assume that you don't go clubbing and you just go, you go home at about 12 or 1, 1 in the morning, okay? When you get home, have a lot of water so that you don't get a huge hangover in the morning uh, and then don't set an alarm as such because you'll find that after about maybe 8 to 10 hours, uh, the alcohol should be leaving your system and you'll experience REM rebound. So I've, ha I've had nights when I've gone out drinking and come back and had crazy lucid dreams in the morning. But if you go too far, if you drink too much, then it will destroy your whole night's REM sleep and you'll maybe get the REM rebound the next night. So it's slightly easier to have lucid dreams just uh, taking alcohol. But of course, if you're taking marijuana as well, there's also effects that happen between the alcohol and the marijuana. I'm not going to go into that because that's another topic. That's not really the question you asked. But hopefully this has allowed you to uh, structure your sort of pattern, if you will, and uh, allow you to decide what you're going to do with lucid dreaming. If you want to pursue it, uh, then I would suggest you take the advice I've given you and sort of be aware of this REM rebound stage that can happen. Uh, with marijuana, the REM rebound I, th I think I forgot to mention, is 24 to 72 hours. So yeah, about one or two days. Um, and then you'll experience a REM rebound.
So I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, please do send them into the channel. And once again, if you would like to support me, if you enjoy these videos, please go to my Patreon link, which I'll put in the description. It's patreon.com forward slash how to lucid. Patreon is spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N. And it's a, it's a way in which you can support me, maybe donate one or two dollars or pounds a month, whatever you can afford. The smallest amount really does still make a difference if enough of you do it. So I would really appreciate that if you do enjoy these videos. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.